What's up everybody? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Wise Aisha Talks. Today we're going to be talking about a particular topic that has been something that has been looming in my mind, but after watching a YouTube um, like a YouTube video from one of my favorite YouTubers, shout out to Julesy. I love you. I'm one of your smart brown girls. I felt like it was time for me to talk about this and to talk about it as a Wise Aisha Talk episode because why not? So today we're going to be talking about a particular topic um, that's near and dear to me and it's weight. Having problems with weight. The idea of being snatched. The idea of having body dysmorphia. How it came to be. My personal story and like what I think about everything and, and everything that's happening in social media currently about it. So just to get into it, I really appreciate everybody. I want to shout out to um, my Muslim fellow sisters and brothers out here. We're over here fasting during Ramadan, which is why I'm not going to be sipping my tea this time, but I'll be sipping my tea theoretically. So let's get into it. Thank you. All right. So my personal story. So growing up, um, I've always had what people say weight issues, fluctuating weight, gaining weight, losing weight. Um, and for the most part, when I was a very young girl, I was pretty slim, very small, skinny, you know. They used to refer to me as feleke feleke. Um, kind of like very, you know, thin. But I started gaining weight once I moved to the U.S. Part of it was because, you know, the food here is fattening. It has certain chemicals in it that sparked something for me that, you know, made me addicted to certain foods, but also just made me puff up really quickly. Um, and on top of that, I was eating a lot emotionally because, you know, I dealt with a lot of mental health issues. I still currently deal with them, forms of PTSD and just stress eating, emotionally eating, eating to guard myself and my body, um, which is something I found out later. So long story short, I gained weight. You know, I was big, I was chunky throughout my whole adolescence, teenage years and whatever, and even all the way up to now. But the thing is, back then, I didn't really care that much about being big because for me, weight was a protective barrier to protect me from other people. And so I didn't really mind being big. And so when people would make comments, family members, cousins, my parents would make comments about my weight, I didn't really internalize it because I didn't really care. I knew exactly what I was doing. I was eating to make myself feel better and I was eating to protect myself. So for me, the weight was not an issue. It was not something that influenced how I viewed myself. In fact, I still felt like I had a strong sense of like who I was and I still felt beautiful. I didn't need anybody else to tell me otherwise. Now, fast forward into like this past three years, you know, into my adulthood, like now I'm 24. Um, that's when the weight became an issue for me. And I think it has to do with the fact that I've been through therapy and now I'm more aware of why I was overeating, why I was eating emotionally and why I thought weight was was such an important thing for me to have. I got so accustomed to being bigger because I thought that that would protect me from, you know, being prey to a lot of um, a, a crazy, creepy men out here. But when I realized that that's a little messed up train of thought and I started doing therapy and I started figuring out, okay, I need to protect myself, especially when my health is on the line, my physical health is on the line, I definitely need to make sure I cut back on all these crazy foods that I've been eating and really analyze why is it that I feel like I need to eat this way to be happy and to be comfortable. Because I'm not happy anymore. Because now that I'm healing, I'm starting to think like I'm not happy in this body. I'm starting to look at pictures and I'm like, this is not the person I thought I was. This is not the person I see when I look in the mirror. And this is not the potential I see for myself. So especially when, you know, I'm like, this body has been good to me. Even though I've been through a lot in this body, it's still here in all of its pieces and it's still carrying me through a lot. So the best way for me to repay myself and this body is to take care of it and to be better with it. So, you know, like I said, I came to that realization. But I think one thing that made me more self-critical of my body during these past three years has been social media. La, la, la. You know, social media, everybody knows about it, especially Instagram, because it's like a, a database with pictures where people just like, double tap, you like. And so that um, instant gratification, but also seeing and reading through the feed and looking at people's pictures and liking it, you kind of get informed by it. It's almost like a classroom where they teach you what beauty is and what beauty standards are that we're applying currently. Now, I want to say there's layers to beauty and beauty standards all over the world. However, in the mass dominant framework, we all have an idea of what people perceive as beautiful. They're usually European standards and body size is one of those issues, those components of that. You kind of have to be slim, skinny, or if you're not, if you're curvy, you have to be a specific kind of curvy. And as a black woman, my beauty is definitely within, like, you know, within that framework. First off, I have to have certain features 
just speaking about my face, my hair, you know, but then my physical body, my size, my shape needs to look a particular kind of way for people to read me as beautiful. And at least this is what I thought because this is what I was seeing playing out online, seeing comments and stuff and seeing videos. I'm like, oh, if I'm black and I'm this and I'm, and I'm beautiful, then I have to look this way because that's the only way you can be beautiful. I was so wrong, but you know, I only know that now because I had a lot of self-reflection. Before that, I just assumed like, damn, I don't look good. Oh, I hate my cheeks. And I still struggle with my cheeks, but you know, they're here, they're not going nowhere, no matter how much weight I lose. So I came to the realization that I need to cut on that. I need to stop like judging myself based on standards that people have applied online, people that I don't even know, based on people who don't even look like the pictures. Sometimes they retouch the pictures, they don't even look like themselves. And for those people that do go and get their bodies done, I don't judge anybody. You do what you gotta do to feel comfortable in your own body, just like I am, I'm on my weight loss journey. I'm gonna do what I have to do to feel comfortable in my body. But the, the thing that made me worried was like, what, like what infected my mind? What made me think that I wasn't good enough what made me think that something was wrong with me? What made me think that I wasn't beautiful? And it was a lot of different factors. Social media, real life playing out itself, where I live, I live in Los Angeles, like everybody knows there's a certain ideal of beauty here, it's Hollywood. Um, so I came to the realization that like, I need to like strip all of this away, focus on my self-love, focus on building my confidence up internally, working on my body even on the outside, doing a spa treatment, going to the gym, you know, investing in making myself feel more comfortable and feel like, you know, I got me. You know, I've always had me when it came to like getting money, grinding, going to school. But when it came to my body and my health, that's something that I didn't even learn from anybody. So that's a whole other topic on its own, like being a black person from a specific social economic status, learning how to eat healthy foods and learning how to eat in general what your plate should look like. All of these things are different factors that definitely influence my chubby stage and my forever chubby stage, I should say, because I feel like I'm always gonna be a little thick, you know? Just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So um, that's what I wanted to share today because I was looking at my notes. I feel like I covered everything and I just wanna leave these imparting words on everyone, um, which is that you need to love yourself before anybody else can love you. And loving yourself, sometimes people talk about it, but they don't really go into depth about it. And I think it really, it's not just about loving who you are in essence, but really loving your body that you're in, loving the way that you think, loving yourself through the mistakes that you make, loving yourself through the dark periods that you're in, the negative thoughts that you have, finding ways to catch yourself and being like, no, I love myself way too much to let myself talk to me like that. You know, because sometimes we're the hardest critics on our own. So I just want to leave that with everybody and to really make you think like, please don't let Instagram, social media, culture in general, like anything influence how you start seeing yourself. Because when you do that, you lose control and you don't even know who's, who's controlling you anymore. Then you start disliking who you are and it's based on something you can't even touch, you can't even change. Try to find your own intuition and your own voice within. It's always been there. Listen to that voice. If you're comfortable in your body, by God, be comfortable in your own body. If you're not, do what you gotta do to get to that place because everybody deserves to look at themselves and feel happy and to be comfortable. That is all I have to share with you guys. Ramadan Mubarak to my fellow Muslims. Shout out to everybody. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Wise Asha Talks. And a special shout out to Julesy. Uh-huh, my favorite, favorite YouTuber who really like made me think about this topic and be more introspective. Deuces! Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget. <laughs>